and gentlemen, welcome to exciting game number three here. We don't usually see game number threes this early in the tournament, but uh, two great players here going head to head in this ZVZ. So here comes the game number three coming at you. Bonning in the bottom six o'clock position on Polar Night. Tied in the series 1-1, one, one, we have Kenichi. And his opponent, also tied 1-1, one, one. funny how that works out. Uh, from IVD Gaming, we have Roach King, the Red Zerg player. So more ZVZ here. Um, feel down in here, Kenichi's got the Polar Knight camouflaged Zerg going on, so hopefully his units will be able to be seen. I think Roach King won't have a problem. Um, yeah, so we saw a little bit of a misread in the first game by Roach King. I thought Kenichi was going mutas, um, overdroned a bit, and thinking he was safe for a little bit longer. But it turns out Kenichi actually uh, did fast lair into fast Roach upgrades and was able to overwhelm him with a plus one timing attack. With his Roaches, greater numbers against drones equals win for Kenichi in game one. Game two, however, saw... Roach King living up to his name as the monarch of all things roaches. And he was able to take a much faster third, saturate quickly, and then build nothing but those gorgeous, slow moving little gray and black minions of death that all you Zerg players know and love in ZVZ, the roach. So we will see what's going on in this game. We have gas before pool and expansion coming down for Kenichi as opposed to Roach King, who's opting for a spawning pool first, uh, then dropping his hatch. So 15 pool, 15 hatch there. Pretty standard. And uh, gas before pool here. So Kenichi may be going to try a little bit of early aggression to uh, get speed as soon as the spawning pool finishes. It's already up to a 33 gas spawning pool, about 33% of the way it finished on how that works out. I'm sure all you ZVZ players are quite familiar with your gas to spawning pool timings. You wanna get that 100 gas right before. And away you go with the top boost. Overlords have moved across, both have scouted the other player's expansion, uh, looking for the timings of those to know if they are in store for aggression or not. Uh, metabolic boost, as we anticipated, starting for Kenichi. However, um, interesting note here, leaving the workers on the gas, so he will continue to mine, probably going to be followed um, immediately by a Baneling nest here. Queen is now up for Roach King, and his expansion is just about to finish. Has a couple scouting lings now on the map to poke around and see what's going on. There's the Baneling nest, uh, and we have yet more gas coming, so we might be seeing some sort of early uh, ling bane aggression here out of Kenichi. Meanwhile, back in Roach King's base, we have uh, both bases up and running. Queen about to finish. Metabolic Boost is now off to the races for both players. As we saw in the opener, opting for that earlier gas before pool build, Kenichi has a faster Metabolic Boost coming. Uh, poking in with a couple of lings here, trying to get some scouting information. Both lings managed to stay alive. Nope. Just as I say that, one ling goes down. Decides to poke through and... Uh, Gonna try to make it out with his life. Six Zerglings are here to wait, meet him, and uh, down he goes. Queen pushing out here, pushing one of Roach King's um, overlords back, and uh, lots of Lings here in production. So eight Lings more for Kenichi. He's already got a few more clearing the towers here. So my guess is with these... Um, with these moves to sort of limit vision and shoo overlords away, definitely attack here coming as we see streaming away. So... Previous two games were both very macro focused. We didn't see much Ling Bane War in either of them, and uh, we are in for a change here. Nietzsche changing it up here, gonna not let Roach King get to that infamous Roach style that he loves so much. Spine about to finish. Uh, nietzsche has got plenty of Banelings here. He's gonna wait to use them though. His Ling's doing quite a bit of work. 
Moving up into the main, Baneling's got a good connect on the Lings, going after some of these drones. Drones caught behind the Queen, Baneling's slamming into everything, Queen's still alive, but drones unfortunately not. Uh, Spine is up and Roach King managed to have held off this aggression, but you look at units lost here, only five workers killed there for Kenichi. Um, 20, or 32 rather, 32 units killed. Got more roaches, or not roaches, I'm so used to saying roaches. Banelings in the middle of the map, uh, trying to get focused down by those Zerglings. Unfortunately, they do hatch in time. Banelings being morphed in back at home for Roach King. Uh, not much back at home right now. So, he's gonna have to rely on these few Banelings to keep him alive through this next attack, as we see plenty of Lings and a couple of Banes as well, looking to move in and take these out. Spinecrawler are gonna defend these veins for the time being. Ooh, very close there. Those banelings were all grouped together. Um, Spinecrawler, though, able to save the baneling uh, that was about to kill them. Lings moving around the map here, though not really posturing in any sort of aggressive stance. We see drones on the way for both players, so a bit of a breather here as uh, both players stop to drone up. Satisfied that they're both safe with their uh, numbers of Lings and Banes at the moment. Both Gas Geysers going down for Roach King here behind us. So Lair also on the way. So it'll be uh, interesting to see what he's thinking of transitioning into here. Will it be Roaches uh, taking yet another gas here? Will it be Mutants? Uh, only time will tell. We'll see uh, as soon as the Lair finishes. Uh, lair timing's a little bit uh, behind for Kenichi. However, um, probably not going to make too big of a deal. He does have the dual Evo, or single Evo Roach Warren out in the front of the ramp here. So much earlier uh, quantity of gases for Roach King. Um, will this be a change in display? There we go. Roach King mixing it up. Um, this is uh, the time to start doing new things. So Roach King going spider, spider, spire is the word I'm searching for. Um, going spire here and that's Pretty much what we thought based on um, the quantity of gases he had. And uh, it's going to be Spire versus Roach. So we'll see if um, Roach or if Kenichi has identified that Mutas are on the way. Roach King opting for the uh, first third of the game here. And uh, we will see whether Kenichi spots this quickly. Um, I think his Overlord is in sight of this. Yeah, he does see it with the Overlord. Great spread of Overlords here by Kenichi. He sees pretty much everything moving through the whole map. Um, and Lings are on their way to this third. No units over here to defend yet. He does have Lings and Banes back at home, but this is going to force a cancel here. Does cancel, loses the drone, but able to save the 300 minerals or the 225. But meanwhile, poking in with an Overseer here does see the Spire, I believe. Uh, yes, definitely sees the spire there. So he's gonna know Roach King, blaspheming, building mutas, not roaches. We will see how many mutas he goes for here. Um, his opponent definitely going roaches. Not sure if Roach King has that info yet. He will momentarily as a troop of roaches marches across. Double expand here from Roach King. He's just kind of banking on the fact that um, hopefully he can get one of these up. Mutas moved out. They've already been revealed by the presence of the Spire. Lings forcing another cancel on this attempted fourth base here. Mutas need to engage here. Everything else needs to pull back. I'd like to see the Mutas on top of this army. They can do as much damage as they want because Roaches can't shoot up. Um, unfortunately, not opting to attack there with the Mutas. Just clearing out Overlords here, denying some of that vision that's been so great. Three Overlords a bit out of position, perhaps a bad rally there. Those are going to be easy pickings for these Mutas. Uh, Kenichi already supply capped, so losing three Overlords is going to be a bit of a big deal here. Kenichi now at 112 of 84 supply, and these Mutas are not done yet, so Roach King, if he uses this to advantage, he can uh, pull ahead quite a bit. Only two Overlords in production at the moment. They're going to be able to easily deny this third here. Lings and Mutas moving in. Forces the cancel. Um, meanwhile, Roach King's third is now up. And uh, 
Finally, there goes the Roach Warren for Roach King, opting to transition to that out of the Mutas. Meanwhile, Kamichi still supply capped. That vision uh, early game is now costing him. Uh, Ling's run in. I'm not totally sure I like this engagement. It's a great positioning for Kamichi here. A lot of Ling's going down. Now starting to try to focus down this natural hatchery. If he can get this and pick this off, it's going to be a huge. It looks like these Mutas are able to focus down there. Kanichi not left with much options. Away he goes with these roaches to counterattack. Not much left he can do. Kanichi, oh, a little bit of indecision there. Chooses not to pull out an attack. Uh, Muta's forced to retreat now that there's spores up, but not before doing a tremendous amount of damage, destroying the natural completely. It is queued up to be a remade. There goes the hatchery, but... Roach King now finds himself with a base advantage, and he's got plenty of drones here back in the natural. He can just move over at will and uh, be fully saturated on three bases, so looking like he's in great position. Fourth base going down for Kenichi. That is easily spotted. Muta's on their way there to take that out. Meanwhile, back at home, Banelings morphed in with these roaches to help protect them from some of these lings. This fourth, not um, long for this world, forces the cancel and uh, gets a drone kill there. Creep Tumor going down to keep some of these buildings alive while this hatchery um, rebuilds. No drones over here at the uh, third. I'd like to see Roach King move these drones down. He's sitting at way oversaturated here in his natural, a little oversaturated in the main, but that's all right. He's been busy uh, denying bases and generally being a boss with these mutas, so we'll forgive him momentarily. Um, if it goes on too much longer, though, uh, there will be no forgiveness in that. Macro hatch going down, so it looks like Roach King is going to be kicking into high gear here. Meanwhile, back at home, Kenichi for forced into turtle mode, um, just building infestors here. Yeah, Kenichi lamenting that he's uh, lost this, shaking his head there. Um, gonna stick it out and see if he can pull out some uh, Miracle Fungals here, but without any Hydras behind this, there's just not enough DPS in Fungal anymore unless he changed them for a good long time, and I don't think the Infestors are going to be safe under Mutas for that long. As we see, Roach King now at uh, 146 Supply, transitioning out of the Mutas, starting to get his uh, Roach speed there. Actually, it's almost done. Macroing up this base here, uh, still oversaturated in that natural now. I'm a little bit, uh, could have been hit a little bit better, but, you know, people get busy in these games. They miss little things. I am definitely not perfect in any way. Uh, moving forward, just slowly turtling away out. I like the use of the overlords here to get the creep out, protect the army here in the uh, choke, but... The longer Kenichi sits on two bases to three bases, the harder it's going to be for him to find any way back into this game. Slow parade of spines here, just walking their way over. There was plenty of spines in the main case of a possible counterattack while he had the mutas in uh, his natural. Those spines being put to good use, redistributed along. I'd like to see these mutas be a bit more active. Roach King's just sort of sitting back at the moment. There's tons of overlords here, free for the picking. Um, he's a little bit scared of these infestors, but I think as long as he just moves around in the periphery, there's there's plenty of um, plenty of overlords out here if he uh, chooses to be aggressive. So, gonna move out with uh, creep being spread all over. He's got plenty of infestors, some queens, some hydras. Landing a good fungal there, getting most of the mutas. They are pretty spread out. Here comes the roaches behind this, though. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Another great fungal landing on the mutas and below. Infested Terrans are going down. Add a little bit of extra DPS, but I think there's just too much here for Roach King. The roach reinforcements are proving a bit too much. Balin's moving in now from the back. There are no fungals left on any of these infestors. Can he hold on? Pushing forward. Big hold here. All the mutas are gone. Spores here able to take out the mutas. Roaches and Hydras trying desperately here. Roach King's concave is just too great. Hydras are falling. More reinforcements being made for both players. 14 Roaches as opposed to 6 on the way for Kenichi. Roach King doing tremendous amounts of damage and he has the economy to just keep attacking and support this from here. And there's the GG from Kenichi. Good game, well played from Roach King. Great series by both of these players.